I'm still torn about how much we should uh, be going through live coverage and how much I should talk about the uh, Kansas City Chiefs uh, fan who the Kansas City Chiefs have asked not to show up at games because they always lose when he shows up. Do you know that story? It is truly, it is the funniest sports story in memory. He is a long-time uh, Kansas City Chiefs uh, ticket uh, holder, you know, season ticket holder. But uh, I don't know how it came out, but w- w- when he left the game, they started to win, and every time he shows up, they lose. <laughs> it's... It's a very funny story. So they don't know what to do with the guy. He's dying to go to Miami for the Super Bowl. <laughs> it's a great story. <laughs> he's someone, He's very, very well known. He's a young guy, and, he, and he's a good sport about it. It's it's funny because he loves the Chiefs so much, and they're going to the Super Bowl for the first time in fifty years. So does the guy go to the game or not? Do you know it's a it's a, I I hate to admit this. I am so anti-superstition, and yet it's gotten such a power, the notion that if he's at the game, we don't do well. I think it affects the players. I know you, you, have, I know you have the strange look. I have, to, I have to bring it up. It's hilarious. Anyway, this is a, <laughs> I'd rather talk to you about that than, uh, than what's going on with uh, regard to the, uh, the impeachment hearing. I'll tell you what the Democrats have, uh, in fact, achieved, and I did not think I would live to see this, uh, where they're getting uh, pushback, uh, tremendous pushback. Most people did not think of Mitch McConnell as a fighter. It's not, a, it's not an insult. It's just that's not what his, his persona indicated. But it turns out he is, and it turns out Lindsey Graham, I mean, that guy, I can't tell you the admiration, the amount of admiration I have for him. The only thing I, if I, if I were to meet him, I'd say, how come you were so close with John McCain? Then I wouldn't be, it wouldn't be an accusation, it would be a question. I'm I'm sure he liked him personally, which is fine, Uh, but they, they have, they certainly had different views uh, with regard to this uh, president and uh, and and belief in the threat of the left, that's what the, the division among Republicans is is not about Donald Trump. That's partially true, obviously. It's about the the seriousness of the threat to America that comes from the left, not liberals, the left. There will be a liberal who will be testifying against the impeachment, Alan Dershowitz, who's still a Democrat, who's still a liberal, who's still proud of the fact that he voted for Hillary Clinton. Did Hillary Clinton come out today and say that uh, Bernie Sanders is not a nice man? Yeah, it's a new documentary that she's, she's in. She's a, it's in a new documentary? Oh, I see. So she didn't just make the statement. When did she make that statement? Whenever. Post-election? Oh, yeah. So recently? Yeah, recently. <laughs> nobody likes him. Nobody, nobody likes, likes him. Nobody wants to work with him. Uh-huh, nobody wants to work with him. There is a, a sort of civil war among the Democrats. She, she wouldn't commit to voting. She wouldn't commit to voting for him. I mean, that's astonishing because she really hates Donald Trump. <laughs> That's the division on the right. The division on the right is, do you understand the threat that the left poses? I, I, periodically, I get calls here on the show, and I receive emails. Hey, you know, how come you talk about the, uh, this transgender thing so much? So the, it's a fascinating thing. The left can impose anything it wants on society, but if you talk about it, why do you talk about it so much? Girls are losing all these races in high school in Connecticut. Records are being set by biological males who say that they're females, but we're not supposed to talk about it. Parent in Canada is not allowed to call his son uh, by his, 
what what is it? It's the, it's, it's a boy transitioning to girl. Is it the one in Canada? I don't remember. Anyway, he's not allowed to call his his child by the by the biological sex. The Jew, there's another one. What what was the latest one? Did you send it to me? Did I read it on my own? Uh, the Denver Post, yeah, fired a columnist who said that there were two sexes. Did you see that? Did you see that? The Denver Post. Yeah, yeah, I read that. I read the whole piece. Yeah. All right, I'll read it to you folks. You'll judge. We'll be back. 1-8 Prager 776. The Dennis Prager Show, live from the Relief Factor pain-free studio.